Very good morning, family in Jesus. Um, so yesterday we started off with the mind, taking the mind captive and making it obedient to Christ. Amen. So this morning the question is, how many arrests did you make yesterday? And how many arrests did you make today? That's basically what we are doing. We are arresting those uh, 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 going nowhere, unwholesome, uh, carnal thoughts. We are arresting them and, and we binding their hands and we casting them out. They've got no place here anymore. And so this morning, in keeping with that topic, because we are still um, seeking for scriptures to get ready for the second coming of Christ, to make ourselves ready as the um, temples of the Holy Spirit individually and then combined together as the body of Christ. So this morning, we are going to be looking at a very, very popular scripture in the Word of God. It is Romans 12, verse 2. Now, right away, I know that some of you already started to quote this scripture. Very popular scripture. But it ties in with the taking our thoughts captive and making them obedient to Christ that we went through yesterday in 2 Corinthians 10. So this morning, Romans 12 verse 2, this is what the Word of God says. It says, do not conform to the pattern or the image of this world. First of all, that is one thing, family, that is going to keep us sane, that is going to keep us connected to our Father and to the throne of Father God is if we don't conform to the pattern or to the image of this world. So he starts off the scripture and he says, don't conform to the pattern or the image of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Listen what he says here. He's, he doesn't say, I must transform myself. He says, be transformed. Be transformed by who or what? Plain and simple. By the Holy Spirit. We must allow the Spirit of God to do His perfect work in our lives. And if there's anyone that can effectively and successfully transform someone into a new being, it is the Holy Spirit. That's why Jesus gave Him to us. That's why Jesus made Him our counselor. So again, it starts off by saying, don't conform, Jacques to the image or the pattern of this world because it's, it's going to take your mind and your thoughts and, and it's going to go all over the place. You won't be there's going to be too many for you to take captive. So the first thing in getting ready for the second coming, don't conform to this world. Don't conform to the pattern or the image, but allow the Holy Spirit to transform. Okay, Allow the Holy Spirit to so that I will be transformed by the renewing of my mind. Now the renewing of my mind starts off by the scripture that we went through yesterday. By taking, actively taking every thought captive and forcing it to be obedient to Jesus. Amen. That is how we will be able to transform and to be renewed in our minds. Then it goes further. Once we are transformed and once our minds are renewed, this is what's going to happen. Then, family, you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. Again, how will I be able to test and approve? Through the word of God. If my mind is clear and there's no carnal thoughts running around disturbing my mind, heart and my soul and my mind and my thoughts have been taken captive and made obedient towards Jesus and my mind has been renewed by the Holy Spirit. I will be able to read the word of God as it was written by the Spirit of God and the Spirit of God will, will then be able to uh, um, reveal the truth of the word of God to me. 
because my mind is now renewed. And my mind is in a state where the Spirit of God can put those uh, seeds of the Word of God into that fresh soil so that it can grow. It goes further. It, it, it says again, then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Amen. And family, this is basically getting ready for the second coming in a nutshell. I must get my mind ready. I must allow the Lord to renew it. Because when I come to salvation, I, I have got a, a horrible mind. It's all over the place. But to allow the Spirit of God to renew it. Because that's what Jesus came to do, is to make us new creations, new creatures. To make us new beings in His kingdom. And so if we allow the Lord to do this as well, to renew our minds, because now we've, we've made some arrests. Yes, we are the, the, the authority, and there's an authority above us, which is Jesus. And Jesus has said to us, Jacques, or brother or sister, whoever it is, um, take your thoughts captive. Now, right now, take them all captive, all of them. And irrelevant of what those thoughts are, make them obedient to Jesus. And there, family, we'll be able to sift through and see, you know, which thoughts are from the Lord and which thoughts are from the world. Because those that are from the Lord will immediately bow down. Immediately. Those that are connected to the word will immediately bow down. But those that aren't, they'll, you know, th there will be a wrestling match. And they, and they won't want to submit. And then we'll know, okay, this one's guilty. So bind his hands. And chuck him out. Cast him away. We don't want that. We want the, the Holy Spirit to renew our minds. So, family, as we go further into this week, we started off Monday by taking those thoughts captive and making them obedient. Don't stop now. Because every day there might be new thoughts that pop up. And so we must carry on with that. Just like the mirror challenge, we carry on taking our thoughts captive. And remember, we are now the, the authority. We the police. We tell our mind what to say and what to think. Not the other way around. Our minds must submit to our spirits. And our spirits belong to Jesus. Plain and simple. Sometimes it's the other way around is our minds tell our spirits what must happen, and then we move away from the Lord. So family, we started off Monday by saying we have taken our thoughts captive and made them obedient to Christ, and now today we are going further. It's still with that, but we're going further and we're saying, okay, now that all those thoughts have been taken captive and they have been cast out, all those going nowhere carnal thoughts, they are out now. Now we ask the Holy Spirit, Please renew our minds, Lord. Please renew our minds that we will be able to test and approve what your will is in our life, Father God. Please, that's what we want, Lord. We want to be able to know what your will is in our life. And so family, as we go on through this day, um, I encourage you. Yes, it's difficult. I know. I know. It's difficult. Um, especially for a logic, analytical man. I know it's difficult, but it's not impossible. Yes, maybe for us as humans, it seems that way. But for God, all things are possible. So let's fight this through, family, together. Let's stand together. If you are battling with thoughts in your mind, um, reach out to someone. Phone someone that you know in, in the church. Phone one of the elders. Get, get a hold of someone, family. Just sit and just have a talk with them. That's, that's why we are here. We are here to stand together. The body of Christ is here to stand together. If you are a man and you are battling with thoughts, you are battling with this thing that the Lord has just given us, this challenge that the Lord has given us. Uh, tonight, 6.30, we have got men's meeting here uh, at our church. Come and join us. Bring your Bible with. And we go through the Word of God and we have a look how the Lord is going to sort out those thoughts. Amen. So family, stand up.
Um, have courage. Take courage. Be strong. Uh, we all in this together. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for the truth of your word and for the power of your word, Lord. We thank you that your word was there in the beginning and your word will be there into eternity, deep, deep, Lord, into eternity. Your word is what created uh, the new Jerusalem that we are waiting for, Lord. Your word, Father God, is our very next breath. And so we thank you for that, Father. We thank you that, that there's so much truth behind it that that is what is going to get us to the next day and the day after that and the day after that, Lord. It is your word, Lord, that is going to get us to the second coming of Jesus and we can't wait, Father God. We are calling on that day and, and we are anxiously waiting for that day, Lord, in expectance of what Jesus is coming to give us and to do for us. And so we thank you for that, Lord. While we are waiting, Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus, your Son, that we will be courageous enough to continue to take every thought captive and make it obedient to Jesus. And while we do that, we pray, Holy Spirit, that you will please come and that you will help us not to conform to the image or the pattern of this world, but that you will help us to transform and that we will um, renew our minds in and through you, Lord. So we thank you for that, Father God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We love you, Lord Jesus. We love you, Father God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for all that you are doing for us and, and, and guiding us, leading us, teaching us, reminding us of every word that Jesus gave us. So we thank you for that, Father God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We pray and we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, friends and family. I hope and I pray and I trust that you will have a blessed day today, that you will have a prosperous and a successful day as you continue to make arrests. Remember, You've got that police badge now. The Lord has given it to, to all of us. Um, through that scripture, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 10, is it from verse 3 to 5. We've got that badge now. We are now the police. We tell our thoughts what to do. It's not the other way around. We, we don't want um, negative thoughts anymore. It's gone. So as you continue through this week to make these arrests and cast the, the carnal thoughts into the prison, which is the pit of hell. That they must stay there. We don't want them back. Um, so I pray uh, success for you. And I, and I want to encourage you and motivate you. Continue, family. Um, take the word of God. Read it. Read it. The more you read it, the more you will take those thoughts captive. So until we meet again tomorrow, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.